In this topic, we are into converting the wavelength and frequency of electromagnetic radiation. Now, this can be done fairly easy because the wavelength and the frequency of electromagnetic radiation of any type are related through this equation here. The equation is nu, which stands for frequency, times lambda, which represents wavelength, is equal to c. C is a constant, and it is the speed of light in a vacuum, which is 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Nu, again, is frequency, and lambda is wavelength. So this equation can be rearranged and manipulated to solve for any one of these variables if you have the other two. So that means that we could find the frequency if we have the wavelength. And the frequency would be equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. We could also find the wavelength if we have the frequency because the speed of light, or c, is a constant. In a vacuum, it is always going to be this. So the wavelength of a particular type of electromagnetic radiation would be equal to speed of light divided by the frequency. Now, in order for this equation to work, our units need to be correct. Notice that the units for C, or the speed of light, are meters per second. That means that the units for wavelength need to be in meters, and the units for frequency need to be in inverse seconds, or hertz. One hertz is also equal to inverse second. These two units can be used interchangeably. So let's tackle this problem. First, we want to list our givens. We say that we have a frequency of 500 megahertz, and they want us to determine the wavelength. Well, the speed of light is always going to be the same. This constant is 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. The first thing we want to do is to convert this value from megahertz to hertz. So if I have 500 megahertz, if I use dimensional analysis to convert this, then one megahertz is one times 10 to the six hertz. So I put this into the calculator that will give me five times 10 to the eight hertz. So now that I've converted this value from megahertz to hertz, I can plug it into this equation. Wavelength times frequency is equal to the speed of light. And if I'm solving for wavelength, then wavelength is equal to the speed of light divided by frequency. So now I just plug in my values. Wavelength is equal to C, which is 2.998 times 10 to the 8. My units are meters per second. And I divide that by the given frequency that we have converted to hertz. So that will be divided by 5.00 times 10 to the 8. And hertz is equal to inverse seconds, or s to the minus 1. So it's 1 over seconds. Now notice my units here. If I divide meters per second divided by inverse seconds, then seconds cancels out. And I'm left with meters. Let's ask ourselves, is that a unit of length? 
absolutely. And wavelength is measured using units of length. So I know I've set it up perfectly. So if I put this into the calculator, what I get for my wavelength is 0 0.5996 meters. Now I check my initial measured values and I have one, two, three significant digits here. I don't worry about the number of significant digits in my constant because they will not affect how I round my final answer. And so my final answer must be rounded to three significant digits. One, two, three. So this final answer will round up to 0 0.600 meters. Or I can convert this to a more appropriate unit, which would be millimeters, for example. This would be 600 millimeters. That would be my final answer.